hope you're doing well today. I apologize for not uploading for a week or a little bit over a week. I haven't had much time to film and then I typically film on the weekends and the past couple weekends I haven't been able to but I'm finally bringing you my Paint That Palette and Project Pan Porn update. I've been working on my Paint That Palette since I think around December 15th. I think this is the fourth update and then for Project Pan Porn it was started by LS, the Pan That Palette was started by Amber F. For the Project Pan Porn I wanted to focus on hitting pan on some eyeshadows in my collection and I've definitely been pretty successful in my opinion. I think I've hit pan each month that I've done the Project Pan Porn. For my Pan That Palette I wanted to focus on my Z Palette and I'm currently working on trying to finish up a couple shades in that and then I might move on to panning another palette at the end of the year. I haven't fully decided yet but I was working on my Morphe and and Jaclyn Hill palette for my project pan pour and I will show you the progress on that but I think I'm going to discontinue this project for a little bit I think I'm going to take a little bit of a break for a couple months and maybe just bring it back I do really love the project spoiler alert I hit my goals pretty early in the month so I used this like a few times after that then I just kind of played with some other stuff which is fine I'm glad I got used out of my collection but I felt guilty like every time I wasn't using this or my pan that palette eyeshadows which shouldn't happen so I think I'm going to take a break just for a little bit and see what happens but now I'm going to get into my pan that palette so first First, I actually finished an eyeshadow this month. I finished Pink Champagne from Anastasia. This is a gorgeous pinky champagne shade. It was very, very metallic. And as you can see, it is all done right there. And I'm going to insert a picture of what it looked like in my previous update. So as you can see, there was actually a ton of product in it, and I was able to finish this up. I use this pretty much every day during the work week as a lid shade, and I do love this eyeshadow. I have a very, very similar color in my Tar Make Believe in Yourself palette, so I'm really not without it. And it's a permanent shade, so I can just pick it up whenever I want. But I actually just wanted to use up half of what was in the pan within this month, but I actually ended up finishing it. So very happy about that. I've had this for, I think, like almost two years now so I'm glad it's finished. And all that I have left in my Pan That Palette right now is two eyeshadows from ColourPop. It was two of their full-size pressed eyeshadows. So first let's talk about Bel Air because I have the most progress on that one. So I'll insert a picture of what it looked like in my previous update. Bella currently looks like. I actually wanted to hit side pan on it, but unfortunately I did not. I did make a definitely bigger pan, and I'm excited about that. This shadow I'm just getting a little bit sick of because it looks very neutral in the pan, honestly kind of leaning on warm tone, but it kind of looks a little bit more cool toned on the eyes. I will mix it with other crease shades to kind of get like my perfect one and honestly just try to get use out of this. But I'm excited to finish it, especially because I have so many browns in my collection, I would like to work on more of them. But I've also been using this as a bronzer slash contour and it does work pretty well for that. I do have to tap off my brush on my hand because this does give a lot of pigment and I'm really fair. But it's been working fine as that, I honestly haven't really used up much product doing that but I like to try to remember to do it when I can so that is the progress on my Bel Air eyeshadow and this month I would like to hit side pan on it and then the last eyeshadow in my pan that palette is my ColourPop press shadow in Lil Boat so I'll insert a picture of what it looked like in my previous update All right, and here's where this one is currently at. I haven't really expanded the pan much on this one. I wanted to. I feel like I did use this a lot, but apparently not as much as I thought, or I just wasn't using as harder of a hand with it. But I do enjoy this shade. Like I said, I'm kind of getting a little bit sick. It's kind of at that point in the air where many people are getting sick of what's in their pan, that palette. And I'm kind of feeling that right now, trying to push through. It's getting a little rough, but I think I'm doing okay. But here are the two swatches of Bel Air and Lil Boat. So this is Bel Air, the lighter one, and then this is Lil Boat. And for this one, I just want to expand the pan on it as well. I'm honestly not sure what I'm going to do when I only have this one left because I feel like I should just kind of make the finale then because I feel like it'd be really boring just to update on one eyeshadow. I could start another pan that palette, but I kind of just want to think about what I'm doing because I have gotten a couple little new palettes recently, not that many, like one or two, and they're fairly new, so I don't really want to neglect them too much. So let me know what you guys think down below what I should do when I get down to this eyeshadow. I would love to know. So that was my Pan That Palette and my progress on those eyeshadows. Only two left, which I'm very excited about. So now let's move on to the Project Pan Porn. And like I said, I was using my Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette, along with other shades, but I was focusing on this palette. So I'm going to insert a picture of what it looked like in my previous update. So here's where we're at now. As you can see, I have hit my pans. So the first one right here is Faint, I believe. 
and it's just a beautiful shimmery champagne shade and then you guys agree with me on this one I hate the name of this eyeshadow it is pooter but I have hit pan on this one as well it's such a nasty name like I just despise it but I did hit pan on both of these eyeshadows. I love faint as an inner corner highlight. I think it just gives like a really wet look. And then this is just a really nice crease shade. I do enjoy it. And the formula of these eyeshadows is really nice. Like I said a million times, I have a review on this palette, so I'll link it up in the cards. I do have two swatches. Um, this one is Pooter, and then this one is Faint. So these are the two shadows I was focusing on this month. I really do love this palette. If I could have only one palette, it would definitely be this one because it has pops of color and warm tones. I'd love it if it had like a cooler tone crease shade, but honestly, I could just buy one of those. And I have tons of my collection as well. So really love this palette. And I thought I would show you the colors that are in my eye look today because I did use this palette for my look. So I did... I have them swatched right here along with the two eyeshadows that I hit pan on. So on my lower lash line today, I have Pool Party on my inner corner, which it probably wore off because I've had this makeup on since 5.30 this morning and I'm filming at almost 7 o'clock at night. And then on the middle and outer corner, I have Diva. And on my lid, I have SBN or Soft But Natural. So those are just a couple colors from my look today. This is a really great palette. I would highly recommend it. And I'm glad I played with it this month because I was missing it a little bit. And then I do have some bonus pan porn for you guys. I actually hit major pan in one of my eyeshadows from my Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics palette. This packaging is messing with my ring light, but it's so pretty. I love this packaging. So the shade I hit pan on in here is below and it is a satin like kind of matte cream shade and I hit all that pan in one month just because I set my eyeshadow primer with it every day and I also use it as a brow highlight. I love this shade. I think it's like perfect for my skin tone and I do need to play with this palette more which is also kind of why I am discontinuing my Project Pan Porn for a little bit. Anyway that was my update for my Pan That Palette and kind of my mini finale slash just hiatus break whatever you want to call it for my Project Pan Porn. Thank you guys so much for for watching please subscribe if you haven't already also thank you so much for almost 5k i'm kind of tempted to do a 5k giveaway I'm not really sure yet i do have a ton of products but anyway like i said please subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys in my next video talk to you later bye